before the storm Things aren't as they were before You best start pricing Did you think you could keep us out? Shut the gates, forget all All right, here we are show day my teeth are looking bright right now what's going on guys brandon Harden here hope you're having a great day it is the 6th of ignore the hand it is the 6th of june and today we have finally made it to show day i'm i'm surprised that i actually got like any sleep because i was like so nervous all night went to bed at 11 30 probably managed about five and a half hours which is like so surprising because like on previous show days sleep has been like not a thing i feel like this prep i'm a lot more calm and collected and i just like i know that the work that has been done hopefully will bring a package to the stage that i've never brought before so i have a lot of confidence in that which is nice and just like being here settled into the hotel way before the show just being well prepared and making sure everything is good. Soak it in, realize we're one day out, get to bed, and now we are here. It's show day. It's about seven, 10 past seven in the morning right now. 7.30, mother 7.30. We've literally just been packing all the bags ready because we actually have to check out before we obviously, you know, go to the show. Considering checkout is at 12 and that's when kind of like we'll be competing and stuff. So we have to take all the bags to the car. We have a lot of hairspray in this thing because if it moves, well, we can't do anything about it because we can't shower again or do anything about it. So this is it. We got Zane. We got Geordie, and we're ready. We're representing the hard body hoodie today. I wanted to wear it, but like it's a bit too tight and you can't mess up the town, but it's perfect for Geordie. It's so big. It looks so sick. Hello. Little details. Well, they're not finished yet. They're going to be matte black, but we'll get there. Got these off Amazon um, for stage. They're just like £10. <laughs> Super cheap Puma ones. But we do have the post-show shoes packed in the bag. We've got the J Balvins all laced up for post-show. Hard body duffel bag is packed and ready. It's just a bag of clothes that we need to go in the car. This was food that we prepped that's now in this bag. The main man himself with the camera we're gonna try get as much stage footage as possible it might be hard we don't have the clear to record but we kind of do it's okay but try not to show it too much kind of thing <laughs> like 24 to 72 that, that is not a secret lens it's quite big it's quite out there so i don't know how i'm gonna try to hide this but i'll do my best probably take off the mic just to make it look a bit less professional yeah we'll figure it out we'll, we'll do what we can we'll figure it out we're gonna put the bags in the car right now meet up with callum see what he's saying callum did come around about two hours ago at 5 a.m in the morning to just check me out um because he's doing his rounds because there's a bunch of people that he he's coaching in this hotel he's like an absolute machine loads of people in different classes men's physique bikini geordie as well he's very happy again hamstrings are just as dull as they were if not more it's just everything's just dry you know when you get that look on the skin yeah where it's just like the, the skin just goes paper thin he's very very happy with... i'm not a coach and i saw you and i was like my blood thanks man so Thank you. you're gonna smash it oh yeah man. we're gonna do our best anyway can you hear the sound can't stop us now so we are seven minutes away and we will be on stage in the next two and a half hours. Uh, top coat's pretty much straight away um, from when we arrive, which is nice. And I was just saying, like, it's funny how, like, your entire prep, you start thinking about food and stuff and, like, how much you want to eat and whatever post-show. But, like, right now I'm, like, so proud of what I've done. Today I, like, don't even want to eat. <laughs> the, the thought of just, like, getting off stage and having, like, a nice bowl of oats with some blueberries and just protein is just, like... I feel like I'm so hungry right now because I can't eat before stage. It's like all at one. Moral of the story, don't obsess too much over things that you think matter in the moment because they don't. What really matters is the work at hand. All right, so we just pulled up. We're at the venue, you can see all the athletes and everyone else. It's sick when you pull up to a show and everyone's like got a tan, you see who's going to be competing. And I've actually already seen some people that I'm going to be against as well, which is kind of cool. Let's go and show them how small my calves are.
Don't film us next to this guy, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at the size of this dude. This guy's doing bodybuilding. I'm doing classic and you can see there's a very big difference between our physiques. I told you. Six six. Six six. Yeah. I learned yesterday I'm not six one. I'm six and a half. Oh good. <laughs> good. Everyone's lined up right now. We've got Tom there, Callum there, everyone's in the line. We're gonna see what's happening. My sister's here but she didn't want to be on camera so we won't show her. But this is it. We'll be on stage in like probably like an hour and a half, two hours. I've seen the stage. It's very bright, it's very it's very nice. I'm excited to get on it and show the body off. Yep. They just called Classic Tan in, but they, like some guy was like way outside, and I was like, no, I got a tan. But we should be okay. Classic. Uh, do you have any socks? Good. I forgot my sock. Get my little little out. Oh wow! Look at that one. Little Batman. Let's do this. Yeah, we're in dark now. Second coat is on. Here, my boy, Rye. When you speak to people on Instagram and stuff, like we've been chatting for a little bit. Yeah, you're, since you're, like 19, I think. You're coaching for Tom. Yeah, yeah. See, Tom coached me for Body Power at my last show, and now Tom's coaching Rye. You chat on Instagram. You like hype each other up for the show and stuff, and then you come together. And we're here. It's good to just bounce off each other. Like excited to get it done now. So the stage is right there, man. We're closer than you think. I know. Two hours. The finish on. line, man. Oh. All right, so we should go back to the car. Callum has said that we need to be off our feet before we go on stage, but everyone's in the background. Hey, stranger. What's going on, man? What's going on? I haven't seen them since Dubai. <laughs> It's crazy, man. You still got your tan from Dubai. How have you done that? <laughs> I have. Dude, it's a different sun out there. Are you ready to see the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your whole life? I'm not talking about cookies. That'll be good afterwards, but... Oh my god. Thank you. You look beautiful. Oh my god. You see that? That's my girlfriend. <laughs> Everyone's been so kind, like Lewis, Sav, Manette, my sister, my coach, my dad, my auntie, everyone, Zane's right there. We we're all just chilling around the car because we gotta like stay off the feet and everyone's been so lovely and just like supportive and stuff. And going on Instagram, all the nice messages and everything you've been sending and stuff, it's like it's lovely. So thank you so much. And we're almost there. We're almost gonna do our thing and we're so close. We're so close. Woo! This is the exciting part. This is the part that you just like you just wait to go on stage. There's nothing else you can do. It's like you just wait, no stress, feet up and yeah, just relax. Stress is like the worst thing you can do right now. And I feel like this is actually, this is my sixth ever show, but my fourth prep. So I know a little bit, there's always more to learn, but I feel like at this point, one thing I have learned is to just not stress and whatever happens, happens. I try not to destroy your Please don't. Look at this. Why didn't I get this? I, I gotta go in like looking ugly. And Jordy gets to be beautiful. Do you some lash extensions? Oh yeah. <laughs> I got my nails going. That's good enough. Oh Jesus. <laughs> they didn't really work. I look like I've been picking my nose. Do you think he's gonna win? I think he's gonna win. I think he's gonna smash it. I think they're both gonna do so well. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Who's Brandon? <laughs> he's looking really good. He looks insane. And I went on the uh, I went on the Instagram for the Two Bros page, kind of scoping out everyone, anyone that was tagged in anything. I was checking them out, and in my opinion, none of them really come close. I think I'll just second what he said. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah it would def definitely win. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Go on. <laughs> Breathe. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> trying to get emotional. I know. The time is currently about 10.30. Classic. I think things are like delayed about 20 minutes, which is fine. Bodybuilding is still on. The spectators for bodybuilding is also still upstairs, so they have to clear out the audience, clear out the bodybuilders, and then the four classes of classic will be on. But me and Cal are just sat. 
on the sofa. They gave us some nice seats because it started to rain outside and we were just like fucking getting rained on. And then they were like, come inside, you can't come inside because of, you know, the situation. Bit of a weird situation because obviously there's so many rules and regulations now, but if so are outside, really sure. they'll be able to come in in 15 minutes. We'll be going up in about 10 minutes and wait for class D to go on so we can start getting a pump. We got the salt, got a little bit of water. That's all we need to get a pump. We've got some bands as well. And then we'll be uh, going on. Next test grade, men's class of physique open class D. Competitor 612, Brandon Hardy. to stage. In second place, could we take the award to number six, one, three. Sam Mill, meaning our winner is number 612, Brandon Harding. <laughs> it's pleased to get it, guys. And obviously we're also going to see Brandon back for the overall of classes A, B, C and D. Thank you guys, and just the winner on his own, Brandon Harding. Favourite classic physique? Two. Brandon's going to get two out.
Congratulations, Brandon. I know you've come a long way in order to be able to step on this stage. Can you tell us? We started prep in Dubai, and then we came all the way to, went to Canada, and now to the UK just to do this show. So, What's your plans? We fly to Ukraine for next Sunday show to try and get a pro card, and then if it doesn't work there, we'll go to Cyprus. If it doesn't work there, we'll go to Portugal. And we won't stop until we have a pro card. So you could say he's a pro card chaser. It's worth the 16 weeks, wasn't it? He's well, earned it, didn't he? He looked good. It means everything to him, doesn't it? So, what does it mean to you? Stops him shut talking about it for a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Really, really proud. He's done amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did I actually just put the camera on me? I'm like so emotional. We did it. Two rows, mega classic. We won the class in men's class D, and then we competed against all four classes in the overall, and we got the overall. Oh my God. We won the overall. NPC, Muscle Works, Mega Classic, overall champion. We're gonna be cutting cake with this shit. Oh my god. I can't believe it, I can't. I didn't think this would happen. I really didn't. Now we're gonna go see my family. Hey bro. One down. One down. One to go. Put him away. So proud of you. Bury my old thoughts instead so you could feel the same. I lay alone with you inside my mind. We would dance the night away to the morning light. Baked yesterday as well. Thank you so much. Oh having business. She made us a special like blondie oh. layered with love bakes on Instagram. Yes. We've we'll come back to the car because Geordie is about to go on in about probably an hour. I'm gonna put some actual shoes on because I've been out. <laughs> I've been wearing these sliders the whole bloody time. They were great. Ten pound from Amazon. Did the job. Why would you get Gucci sliders when you can get ten pound Puma ones? The winning number. And now we've got the J Belvins. I took a, a H2O supplement because obviously dehydrated massively before the stage. Took a diuretic last night. It was only a, I took a quarter of a diazide, which honestly, like I've taken half a diazide before, so it's half the diuretic I've taken for body power. But this prep, I didn't need to because I didn't like cheat on my diet, so I didn't like necessarily need that. Now I have to prioritize drinking water, making sure my water intake's good. Now my legs aren't cramping at all, and I can get out these bloody sliders and put some actual shoes on for some ankle stability. Pretty special moment right now. We're in the car with Manette, Zane just outside right there. Lewis and Sav just went in to drop Geordie some water off and we obviously just came back to drop the bag off to the car before going in and watching Geordie compete. But Manette has potentially baked me what could be, I haven't I haven't tried it yet, my favorite dessert in the entire world. Callum has allowed us to have some treats post-show. So like, don't be blowing me up in the comments. Like, Bronny, you competing in a week. I have had a couple slip ups on this prep that I haven't actually spoken about and I'm not gonna speak about because I don't wanna like dive into the eating disorder, blah, 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 part of competing. I'm just gonna say it, 12 days ago, I ate about seven, 8,000 calories in one night. Minette knows about it because I, I was on the phone to her. I was like, Minette, I've really, I've really <laughs> messed up. Jordy knows, Callum knows, Zane knows, everyone knows. And I was like, I have destroyed this prep. I was at McDonald's, I was eating all the shit in my dad's place. My dad had croissants and all this. But we obviously yeah. stick to the plan afterwards. We got back on the treadmill and it actually fueled my body and gave me some fullness, which I was able to bring to the stage today and win the show. So if I want to eat this dessert, I'm going to do it and no one's gonna say shit about it. Some blondie brownies with white chocolate, jam, jammy dodgers, biscoff, and white chocolate on top, and they are incredible. What the fuck? I know. Yeah, oh, are. there we go. Yeah, fab. Oh my God, live reaction. Oh my go. God. Oh my God. Beautiful. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. That is absolutely outrageous. Like it? I can't believe how good this Out of is. 10? 
10, yes. 12. Yes. I'm not gonna eat a whole piece. I'm gonna have like another mm -hmm. couple bites. Snack on it. But wow, this, thank you. Yeah. This is amazing. Let's do it, Zane. <laughs> Hi. I'm and Zane here. I can't see out. I just headbutt Jim, so sorry. It's all right. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to figure everything out. I oh, don't yeah. know what's going on, I'm sorry. There you go. You zoomed in quite far. Like, oh, yeah, I don't know what's you know, going on. Is that, that one? Oh, there we go. There we go. Fabulous. So there we're off we to see Geordie and Pete. You have to watch the let, the screen because you can't see if you're in it. I can't even see the screen. <laughs> you're in it. You're in it. You're in you it. don't need to. You're in it though. Yeah. She's gonna be on in a second. She's gonna be on. She's gonna be competing three times because she's gonna be on three different classes. We've got a big show to enjoy. It's gonna be great. Let's do it. I'm vlogging. I'm not recording the show. I'm vlogging. I won't record it. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, Geordie. Yes, Got off stage, she got third place in no, one class because she competed three times. She got third place in one class, second place in overall bikini in her last class. But I'm so proud, she's, she's gonna come down now. And we're gonna wear, uh, I'm gonna see her and stuff. It, it was honestly so amazing okay, to like, see her on stage, and she looked freaking incredible. Like, in terms of like overall bikini package, like she had it, she looks amazing. Like, the past 18 weeks together, she's been dieting since December, so a lot longer than me. And the work that she's put in has been absolutely incredible. So, Jordi, you absolutely killed it. I'm so proud of you, and I can't wait to see you in two seconds when you come back. Oh, <laughs> so proud of you. Thank you. You killed it. I'm good. I'm yeah? very good. Very good. Oh. I'm very happy. Well done. Very happy. Two. Two. Second and third. Woohoo. Thank you. That's my, that's my girlfriend, man. What, what are you doing? I'm what? I Thank you. Sorry. Go ahead. Missing the fights. I don't care if I'm right. Let's just buy a bit more time. Oh, the streets. We've literally waited this whole day to eat this cookie. Ready? Cheers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is so good. There's chocolate bisco. Caramel white chocolate. How good is that? It's ready, bro. We're ready to add. I told you. First time I've done this book, I'm not getting anything else. Literally, tears. You did it. I don't want to cry up my mouth. You did it. This is amazing. Thank you. You're so beautiful. We are a collection of medals right now. And now we're going to celebrate with some good ass fucking meat. Woohoo! More meat on his bones. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Jeez. Jesus Christ. We're shredded. I'm stealing this from my vlog. You're welcome. Got a steak, mate. Yeah, right here. Got two of them. I'll cut it. Okay, bye. All the meat. All the meat. Oh, give we're going to get some meat. Mm, yeah. Give me that meat. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Some fucking orange. All right, so we just got to the Miller and Carter where we're going to be having dinner tonight. Yeah, Didn't so know cool. if it'd be like a really nice place, but it's <laughs> really beautiful. Sweet potato fries, halloumi fries, some dips, some good shit. We're gonna have a good time. Always ready for steak, bro. Yeah, man. Missing the fights, I don't care if I'm right. Let's just buy a bit more time. This is the first time we felt love for one another. I know. Because we were like dead. We've been on like prep mode. Where are they? We've been like completely like zombie mode. You were then. Oh, it's an onion loaf. Lewis. I'm excited for this one. Sorry, guys. I caught it. The burger has come. We have the Miller and Carter Dirty Burger. They didn't have any beef, like actual burgers, but they replaced it with chicken instead. So we've got grilled chicken on the Dirty Burger, which is probably a healthier option, honestly. Super potato fries. We have these, because I wanted onion rings, but they have onion loaf here, because obviously they're super fancy. Zayn has a chicken and bacon burger. And Minette and Sav are also enjoying some good ass food. I'm so excited for this. Is that a good steak? Mm. Well, like, cut it down the middle so I can get like a nice middle bite. Yeah. Like, it's just too small for me. Good. Good. But it's absolutely delicious. The cheese, wow. 
I'm not gonna describe it. I'm just gonna eat it and enjoy it. <laughs> this is the pressure of the expectation. <laughs> yeah, that's why like, you didn't say anything. But we knew you would turn yeah. up, walk on, win, go home. Like, that's one thing I do want to say is like, yeah. you know, everyone that turned up and stuff was like, it was a good competition. Like some of the guys that were in all the four classes of classic, they were like, there was one guy had so much muscle maturity, clearly been training a very long time, so much density, and something that you can only achieve from like years of training. He's literally yeah, got he's me. He's been training all these years. The way he's well pissed that you just walked in. One I know. So, like, <laughs> like, like, who's this little prick that thinks he can? Beat me. This fucking YouTuber that just turns up and wins everything. <laughs> That's it. We're just we're just a YouTube bodybuilder doing our thing. Just a YouTube bodybuilder. Uh, Proved yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Proved wrong. And we are back at Callum's after a two and a half hour drive after leaving Sav, Lewis and Manette at the Miller and Carter. We drove back, tried to get like some of the tan off, it's definitely a lot less dark. It's actually quite nice, like quite a nice smooth, like I have to try to get it off again in the morning otherwise it's gonna like destroy everything that I touch, but it's off the hands ever so slightly other than the fingertips. But other than that, it's pretty smooth. It's really nice to enjoy some food with some friends. I'm so, so tired. Like Zane actually had to drive back cause I was trying to drive back and I was like passing the hell out. Jordy was in the back, she was asleep as well. After waking up at like 4.30, having barely any sleep and just like competing today and it being such a long day um, with me being on so early and Jordy being on so late as well as like being with family and friends and all that kind of stuff. It was a very exhausting day, but we left with what we went for. We have the Two Bros Mecha Classic first place medal for the class win. There's freaking veins in the hand. <laughs> and then here we have the overall win sword. And this thing is heavy. Like, what would you say? Is it like 10 kilo? Maybe like five, eight kilo? Yeah, probably 10. It's it's heavy. NPC Muscle Works Mecha. You gonna pull it out? Look at that. You gonna hear it? But we should get it sharpened. Yeah, it's quite sharp at the end. It's like stainless steel. So if we took it to a steel guy, they could maybe like turn it to a real sword. Make it into a proper sword. It's heavy. It's just amazing to have done like an 18 week prep and then like go against like guys that are just as deserving to win the overall um, as me, hoping that they put in the same effort. The little bit extra that you may do on a prep will be enough to separate you from the rest. And um, we left with the overall today. Um, so it's just kind of even, I haven't even had that moment yet of like, oh, we, we did it, you know, because we have so much more to do. Did have the to enjoy some food tonight but we are back on cardio tomorrow and back on training it's going to be um midday cardio session for like 45 minutes on the stairmaster or something we have to prepare a bunch of stuff tomorrow too to get ready for ukraine me cal zane jordy we're flying to ukraine on wednesday because the next show is on sunday so we essentially run base diet now if we needed a high day we'll have a high day on thursday if we need a low day We'll have a low down Thursday based on the results of the flight. If there's any inflammation, we repeat the same plan. It worked perfectly today. So, show show the show show like. Is it not there? It's still there. Yeah. I drown it even more. I didn't eat too much. Could have bit more. If we bring the same package to the stage, it may be enough to get a pro card. Uh, looking at some of the stage footage and stuff, I know. Uh, like, I'm sorry if some of the stage footage like wasn't the best. We, we had a, a really difficult situation. Because they had the camera out. My sister had the camera out. They had to go at us. We wasn't allowed to record. That is it for the show day vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like. Do me a favor. Turn on post notifications. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Peace. No matter where you are in life and no matter like what position you are in, as long as you have like a positive mindset to chase the dreams and you know you want to be a pro one day. Absolutely. And it's what believing in yourself and no matter how much fitness is more than it's more than the bodybuilding show. It's more than the way they look. It's having the discipline and something to stick to so that you can achieve other goals in your life too. Brandon and myself love bodybuilding, but the fact that we've just used fitness to help us better ourselves. Bodybuilding and fitness is just a catalyst for so many greater things and I'm glad to meet you man. No, honestly.